everyone and welcome back to biology today we are going to get into our unit now last class i told you guys we were starting unit number two genetics and heredity heredity and um i asked you to tell me what you thought it was about and i got some pretty good um, responses on that so today we're actually going to learn what we will be learning about in class so have you ever been told that you look like one of your parents or like a sibling or maybe like your dad's sister or brother or your mom's sister or brother or like your grandparents so on and so forth if you have it's not just by coincidence it is because parents pass on copies of their own genes so they replicate their genes their bodies replicate their genes not them their bodies their bodies replicate their genes and um, pass it on to their offsprings which would be their children that is why um, children represent their parents many times not always sometimes you may look more like your grandfather than you do than your dad but um, nonetheless that is what is happening the parents genes are duplicating or replicating themselves um, and being passed on to the next generation of offsprings now in some of those cases obviously this world is not perfect there are errors in the replication stage of the genes when these errors occur this is where the um, this is where um, disorders come from have you ever heard about down syndrome or um, autism now in lesson number nine we are going to be learning about the chemistry of genes so get your pencil paper ready like always we have a few key words that we want to touch base on right now okay number one is going to be base triplet a base triplet is a group of three bases on a strand of gene of sorry of dna um, so it's a group of three bases on a strand of DNA. Number two is gene. It's a portion of DNA that contains the information needed to make specific protein. Number three is trait. Trait is a correct, correct, characteristic, characteristic of prop or property. And number four is going to be the process, um, sorry, protein synthesis, synthesis, and it is the process by which protein is formed, or protein forms, okay? So those are our four keywords. Keep them handy. So I've mentioned something several times already, but I haven't really talked about what it is. DNA. DNA we've heard probably in the past or whatever, but DNA is responsible for the production of proteins. So the DNA contains a genetic code for forming proteins. The kind and amount of protein pre present in an organism determine its traits, which we already said traits, the traits are the characteristics. So how something looks like. So, have you ever thought, like, we all have eyes, but why is everybody's, why are everybody's eyes probably a different shape, a different color, have more eyelashes, have less eyelashes? That is because of the code in the DNA. And where does that code come from? It comes from our parents' genes that are uh, replicated. So, that is how it goes. It goes from one generation to the next through the DNA. So that is that. Um, I'm going to insert a image at the end of this video of a DNA strand. It is going to have 
certain letters in it. I want you guys to draw this figure. I also want you to answer two questions that will also be after the image. So please keep an eye on that. If you have any questions on today's assignment or anything that I've talked about or this um, this specific sub, not subject, of this specific lesson, please let me know. I am here to help you guys. Um, I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.